I'm Lee Pickens with Superside. Today we're going to be planting a new lawn with Tiff Blair centipede seed. Now most of the times we typically recommend as a first step in preparing a seed bed to remove any existing vegetation from your site. And sometimes it's even necessary to apply a concentrated weed killer to do that. However, today we're working at a new home and during the construction phase, the builder planted some temporary ryegrass which has already died out because of all the heat. So as we transition from that temporary ryegrass into our lifetime lawn, we won't have to be spraying anything out. However, if at your site you do have existing vegetation, please refer to some of our other videos which show how to properly apply that type of product. The next step in the process will be adding an organic humus compost called Soil Cube, which is a product that we produce on our farms. Now by adding this Soil Cube to the site, we'll be introducing beneficial bacteria as well as nutrients to the site. After we've done that, we'll want to consider putting out some lime and fertilizer. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you've already had a soil test done. A soil test will help you know exactly what you might need to add. And a few things to remember when we're planting centipede seed. For example, the first thing is that centipede typically performs well in a low pH soil with a range of somewhere between five and six. Also, centipede really does not require very much fertility, so it doesn't need very much nitrogen in the soil. What our soil test showed here was that we did lack some potassium and phosphorus, so we'll be putting out a low nitrogen starter fertilizer and the soil test also showed that our pH was between 5.6 and 5.8, so we won't need to add any lime. However, after we've spread the soil cube compost and scattered the starter fertilizer, we'll incorporate both of those into this soil. That way, once the seed germinates, they'll be able to help that plant develop and grow into the healthy centipede lawn that we're trying to establish. Now that we've tilled all of our soil cube compost and starter fertilizer into the soil, we're going to rake over the entire area, trying to eliminate any depressions or high spots that may have been left behind. In addition, we'll also be picking up any sticks, stones, or debris that would have been there, and in the process, we'll create a smooth and even surface for planting our seed. Now that we've prepared our seed bed, we're actually ready to plant our seed. We recommend using a handheld spreader set to a very small calibration because of the size of the centipede seed. We like using a handheld spreader because it gives us a little bit more control in determining exactly where and how much seed we're putting out at any given time. We would also encourage you to put out half of the seed in a north-south direction and then to crisscross that in an east-west pattern to ensure that you put out all of your seed in an adequate and uniform coverage through the entire area. Now that we've planted our seed, we want to go back over them with just a very light covering. Now, some people might recommend that you use wheat straw at this point in the process. We would actually advise against that. Remember, Tiff Blair Centipede Seed is certified and 100% weed free. And bringing something in like wheat straw, there's a possibility of introducing foreign weed seeds. And we want to eliminate that whenever possible. Instead, we're going to be using a compost spreader and to cover our seed lightly again with just a very small layer of soil cube compost. Again, the seed will be just underneath the surface, really no more than about a quarter of an inch deep, which will position them so that they can germinate properly. Final step in our seed bed preparation is going over the entire area with a roller. As we roll over this area, we'll be pressing the seeds slightly downward to make sure that they have proper soil contact. In addition, we'll be eliminating any final and remaining air pockets, depressions, or high spots, which will create a smooth and even surface, allowing proper water flow throughout the entire area. Last but certainly not least is watering in your newly planted Tiff Blair centipede seed. You want to make sure that you can water immediately after planting and that you then keep the seedbed moist for at least two weeks. 
Doing so may mean watering at least two or three times daily depending on the temperatures that we're having and the soil type at your specific location. After a few weeks, the seed will actually germinate. And once they do, you can gradually back off your watering cycle. But remember, for a lawn to develop into a healthy situation, it's going to require at least one inch of water per week. proper amount of time, water, sunlight, and care, you will soon have a lovely, new, healthy Tiff Blair centipede lawn. Thanks for watching, and for more information on maintaining your new Tiff Blair centipede lawn, please visit us at supersod.com.